Good day everyone, here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Solve for the value of x cubed minus 506x minus 502 raised to 7 given this equation. x equals 1 plus square root of 2001 all over 2. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. All right, time's up. Now let's answer this question together. Now our goal is to solve for the value of x cubed minus 506x minus 502 raised to 7. On this question, we're given one equation, which is equivalent to x equals 1 plus square root of 2021 all over 2. Now let's simplify first this equation. So let's multiply by 2 on both sides. So this will give us 2x equals 1 plus square root of 2021. Now subtract 1 on both sides. And then cancel out this square root by raising both sides by 2. Now on the left hand side, we will use some identity. If we have a minus b quantity squared, it is equivalent to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Therefore, the left-hand side of our equation becomes 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. And on the right-hand side, square root of 2021 quantity squared is just 2021. Now, subtract 1 on both sides. This will give us 2020 on the right-hand side. And then notice that 2020 is divisible by 4. Now, divide all terms by 4. This will give us x squared minus x equals 505. Now, let's set aside this result for a while. Now, take note that our goal is to evaluate this expression x cubed minus 506x minus 502. Now, notice that 506 is super close to 505. Now, what we're going to do to this expression is let's factor out first the variable x. This will give us x multiplied by x squared minus 506. Now, given this equation, we have x squared and 505. Now, don't forget that we need 506, not 505. So, to make it 506, let's add 1 and, of course, let's subtract 1. Plus 1 and minus 1 will give us 0. Now, 505 plus 1, this will give us now 506. We have 506 and we have x squared on our equation. So, let's subtract 506 on both sides. And then, let's add x on both sides. This will give us x squared minus 506 equals x minus 1. Therefore, the value of this expression x squared minus 506 is just x minus 1. Now, let's distribute again the variable x. So, this will give us x squared minus x minus 502. Now, again, using our equation, we have x squared minus x minus 505. We want 502. So, let's pull out 502 to 505 because 505 can be written as 502 plus 3. Now, subtract 502 on both sides. This will give us x squared minus x minus 502 equals 3. And that's exactly the expression inside the parentheses. Therefore, our expression can be trimmed down into 3 raised to 7, which is equivalent to 2,187. Therefore, the value of x cubed minus 506x minus 502 raised to 7 is equivalent to 2,187. And as always, we are done.